Hi guys, Mr. Lost Fitness here. Today's session, we're gonna do a high volume chest and back session. Now, I'm a fond believer in high volume. If I've been training with high volume for as long as I can remember. But my split right now is chest and back Monday, shoulders and arms Tuesdays, legs Wednesdays, and then I repeat that cycle for the next few days and take Sundays off. But the first three days of the week is heavy. So I don't really get that volume in there. I get a lot of strength. You know, like my reps are between four and six, and I do that for like four to five sets. So not that much volume, um, but today we're doing a lot of sets, a lot of reps. Really looking to hurt my back, hurt my chest. So I thought I'll take you guys through it, um, and I'll probably end up doing a commentary over it whilst we're going through the workout. Um, so the first exercise is gonna be cable flies. I need to warm up and I'm one of them ones I don't normally stretch or anything like that. I'll, I do the exercise and warm up with the exercise. Um, depends on the person, what you prefer. Some people prefer to really spend like 10, 20 minutes stretching out. Or you could do some like, if your gym's far, you can walk to your gym. That's some type of movement just to get your body warm. Or when you come to the gym, just quickly go on the Stairmaster or treadmill and run for like 5, 10 minutes just to get your body warm and loosen your muscles. Especially now when it comes to winter time, you can't be coming in a gym cold and then straight going into the workout you're gonna injure yourself so definitely loosen up before you actually start the main workout which is what I'm doing just rip it out right now <clears throat> and sorry about my voice I've got a little chest infection but you know me ain't gonna get in the way <laughs> so like I said there we are warming up warming up is very vital so don't forget guys so what first working set we went for like 12.5, 15. And the reason why I love the cable fly is simply because the constant contraction that you have in your chest, when you're stretching, you really have to control the weight. And it's just, it's just one of my favorite exercises for lower chest. And I'm really trying to get my lower chest up. Um, so yeah, that was exercise number one. Exercise number two, we went on to the bent over row, which I think is king. For back thickness if you want that thick gorilla back aka silver back you need to be rowing row 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 your boat you know it develops your lats and it just overall thickness for your back and i just rowed and rowed and rowed some more um i think i went up to like 100 kg um obviously i'm now i'm just trying to trying to get stronger so that's going to be going up slowly sometimes i do do free plates but that's very rare second super set no it's no it's the third exercise third exercise which is a super set is doing a flat bench um but we're doing it with dumbbells again i love dumbbells simply because you get a greater range of motion with the barbell you can't go as deep and i wanted to super set this and just focus on the whole contraction and stretching the pectoral muscles here you can see i'm super setting it with close grip push push-ups it's a reverse push-up basically but with dumbbells and as you can see my chest is fully engaged fully engaged and yeah if you haven't noticed yet my chest is one of my strong points but yeah i'm struggling and you have to be struggling when you're working out if you're working out with a smile on your face you ain't working hard enough next exercise is rack pulls the reason why i love to do rack pulls on the smith machine is so i can just focus on the whole contraction and not really focus on the whole grip because a lot of people tend to lose their grip pretty fast when it comes to rack pulls and it makes a lot of noise when you use just a barbell but again if you have weak grip strength then i would advise you to practice it with just a barbell and i'm super setting it with push-ups press-ups whatever you want to call it um again just uh just get out of the gym quick that was key here you know really just get in get in and out you know a lot of the time you spend time on your phone doing all that nonsense but i want it to be in and out so dips which is definitely one of the best chest exercises and tricep i'm um, super set it with pull-ups and as you can see both of them were my body weight um, and at, at the end of the workout is more taxing than at the beginning of the workout and yeah that was pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this commentary that is it for today's workout. Lots of reps, lots of sets. Still lifting heavy, which is key. You know, you just don't, just because you're doing volume doesn't mean you have to lift light. You know, you still wanna 
put muscles through stress, create that muscle damage. Yeah, I'm struggling. This, this infection's hurting me, but I say hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you ain't already subscribed to Mr. Love Fitness, you know what to do. Subscribe. Love life. Love life. Love life.